Hey everybody, it's Michelle again, and you're not going to see me today because I look like crap, but uh, I thought I'd share with you one of my uh, guilty uh, pleasures. I am a lip gloss, lip balm, lip product junkie. Don't wear a lot of lipstick, that's why there isn't any here, I think I own five altogether. So uh, these are just uh, my collections of different glosses, different lip balms, lip stains, things like that. Uh, tints, etc. So, here we go. First thing I want to show you is the, this, I have this collection. It's the Cupcake Collection from Liplicious from Bath and Body Works. This one is Cookies and Cream, and it's a sheer, like, sparkly color, and it tastes like cookies and cream. This one is Strawberry Cupcake, also in that collection. This one is Coconut Cream Cupcake. This came from Veronique in a little pick-me-up gift that she sent me. I love you, girl. You're amazing. Thank you so much. This one is Lemon Glaze Cupcake. And I've been trying not to use this because, like I said, it's a limited edition. And I love it. It's so good. This one is Red Velvet Cupcake. Okay. Now, I got some lippy set from Philosophy during Christmas. So I got Peppermint Bark, Tinsel Town, Cinnamon Buns, Marshmallows for, marshmallows for Toasting. Okay, that's them. And then I got, these are my favorite lip balms ever, 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 but I'm always trying something different. These are the EOS Smooth Spears, and these are like, oh, I can't open it with one hand. Damn it. They're really moisturizing, they're round shaped, so they're easy to apply, they unscrew, and they come in an array of flavors. I actually have, like, every flavor they make, like, three or four of each, spread out through purses, the house, the car, etc. But all I have on me right now is these two, which is, uh, Summer Fruit and Strawberry Sorbet. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is this Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Lip Quench Tint. Or color quench natural moisture lip tints. First of all, smells what smells beautiful. It smells just like their uh, Tuscan blood orange scents, and it is super super moisturizing and not super uh, pigmented, which I like. Now these are the only like, well no, not the only, but some of the few color products I have. This is Infallible Lip Gloss, and this is in Rebel Red. It is. Freaking gorgeous. Love it. Need more of these. They're actually... They're not infallible, as they say, but they're really nice lipsticks. This is... Uh, NYC's Liquid Shine in Big Apple Spice. It's a really nice spice color. And this is NYC's Liquid Lip Shine in Nude York City. It's just a gorgeous, sparkly nude. Okay. Then I've got two Revlon lip butters that I got when they were on sale. This one is Berry Smoothie. And they're very sheer and very moisturizing. And this one's Lollipop. Okay. Next thing I have here is a gift from Mindy. I love this. It's Charmed Life Liplicious uh, Lip Gloss. It tastes like a vanilla cupcake. It is amazing. Thank you so much for that, baby. Love you. You're such a good friend. Then I got Summer Vanillas, Lemon Vanilla. I hate that so many of these are limited edition because they're freaking delicious. I've got Cherry Vanilla. Another limited edition from summer last year. It's a Mandarin Nectar. This is Lemon Pomegranate Lip Cream from C. C. O. Bigelow, which is also from Bath & Body Works. Liplicious Cherry Gelato. I want to freaking eat this stuff. It's so good. Forever Sunshine, which was limited edition when they launched their uh, fragrance. Another really good one that needs to like come back right now. Blue Colada. There's no color to this. It's sheer. Sheer sparkly, kind of. Very nice. Sweet. The fruity. This is another favorite. I have abused and used this to death. You can see, I don't know if you can see the tube is like empty. 
It's a, a limeade, I think. Liplicious. Delicious. My favorite, 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 favorite lips, lip gloss from Bath & Body Works. This is the fourth one and my last one. I'm so sorry I didn't get like 12 of these. This is the P.S. I Love You. I can't describe the flavor or the scent. It is just beautiful and it's like a light, sheer pink, sparkly color. Beautiful on. Ugh, love it. Another fragrance release. This is Deep Aqua. My label's coming off. I hate that. I'll probably end up peeling it and then going, I wonder what flavor that was someday later on. This one is a holiday limited edition from not this past Christmas, but I believe Christmas 2010. And it's menthol lip shine in holiday shortbread. And it just tastes minty with like a little bit of a shortbread edge. And this is also from that line. This is hot apple cider. So, yeah. Now, moving on to my CO Bigelow products that I have on hand. I have the menthol lip tint mint infused for fresh Brent uh, lip gloss in magenta mint. Barely there. No, they're just shears. This one has no color. It's just um, the peppermint uh, menthol lip shine. And this is the menthol lip buffer. It's kind of a lip scrub. Uh, the menthol organics sheer lip tint in sheer rose. And the spearmint. Um, yeah, the spearmint uh, clear lip gloss. This is Liplicious. Passion for Guava. I like this because when you put it on, it's like you put on a nudie pink lipstick. But, you know, very sheer coverage. Very nice. I like that. And it tastes good. Um, Cranberry Katsu is like a sheer red. And it's delicious, of course. Fruit Punch is a sheer berry. Very yummy. Okay. Now, moving on to my... Blush... Lip tints, I've got Chili Tingle, which was from last year's holiday. Very nice, orange color. I like the way it makes my lips feel. It started with a kiss. Not crazy about this, but it came in a gift set, so. Celebrate. Oh my god, I have like six of these, and I love them. Snow Fairy. Thank you, Veronique. Latte. And then a lip balm from them is Whipstick. Alright. Um, the rest of this is random, like, lip balms and stuff. That's all Elf glosses. There's random lip balms. I don't feel like going through it. There's an NYX lip gloss in there. Lots of Blistex. This is homemade. I got it as a gift from a woman I ordered soap from. It's a really nice lip balm. Um, yeah. I, what I didn't pull out was my lip scrubs, and I have an extensive collection of these as well. Hold on, I'll get them. Okay. Alright. I'm very unprepared, apparently. I've got Mint Juleps. Bon Bon, which was last year, uh, 2010's Christmas, uh, scrub. Love the flavor, hate the texture, so I pretty much eat that. Sweet Lips. I got this from a woman on Etsy. Probably some of the best sugar scrub, and look at the jar, it's huge. Lasts forever. This is her Honey Lips sugar scrub. It tastes like a, sh uh, a glazed donut, or like a uh, sweet roll, or not a sweet roll, a uh, honey bun. This is her Sweet Raspberry. I, that was also in the set. Um, Lime Margarita. Same set. Just one more of those. I ripped the label off because I get bored and I ripped my labels off. This was um, Chocolate Covered Orange or Chocolate Orange, I think. And then I have Pow Wow from Lush. Bubblegum from Lush. And is that it? That is it for my lip scrubs. Actually, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, rate, subscribe. Share your guilty. I tag you guys all out there. 
share your guilty obsessions with me and uh, make a video and uh, post a video response. Uh, show me what you love and can't stop, can't seem to stop buying. I'm sure there are others. I mean, my Lush, of course, uh, Candles by Victoria, of course. But, um, yeah, I don't have enough of the Candles by Victoria to really do like a massive collection video. And my Lush is so scattered around my house. <laughs> Like, it's in all the bathrooms, it's at the sinks, it's under the sink, in a the Tupperware type thing. It's, like, it's not really fit for public consumption, because I chop everything to bits that works for me. But, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and, uh, please send a video reply, uh, with your, uh, guilty pleasure. Alright, bye-bye.